Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss pre market video for Friday, December 13th, 2019. Happy Friday, everyone. I am Frank Ochoa, aka Pivot Boss. Here's a look at the daily time frame of the ES. After we started December with a very rapid two day pullback, we talked about the potential for a buy the dip opportunity that would lead price back to recent highs and perhaps through those highs. We talked about 3,200 being a potential target based off of the low of the month here. Uh, one of those targets here, 3228. That's this target right here. That's the 100% ADR target on an average monthly range. We just reached the lower green line there. That's the 75% target. I would call that the primary zone, primary target. This pri and this is the high probability target zone right here, with this being the average range. So uh, again, as I mentioned before, especially in the trading room on this pullback here with that low. Uh, there could be the potential to see that target by the end of the year. And so far, we've seen quite a bit of strength. We've seen a little bit of a pullback here in uh, pre-market trading, giving us a pretty strong low here. Uh, if that low continues to hold intact, again, it could be a steady continuation higher toward 3200 the rest of the day. Overall, this market remains uptrending. And uh, until proven otherwise, this thing continues to remain strong. If we take a look here at the NQ, very similar price action. Again, the pullback to begin the month here with a strong low. This was a buying opportunity for a continuation higher. And you can see here 8523s right now, new highs. Uh, this is all new trading right here. And again, we're coming close to the high probability target zone, not quite to the primary just yet but almost into that area which comes into about 8585 and then you can get up here as high as 8725 so again uh, we have a chance to get as high as 8725 by the end of the year that's not too far off given the current trajectory right now this market we could be there by the end of the next week if it really wanted to so right now very strong market all pullbacks still continue to be defended until proven otherwise and any failure so say Monday, say we trade right here in a range all day long, and then Monday we take out those lows and drop. Uh, that could, again, lead to another pullback here that could still be a buying opportunity ahead of the next uh, new high. So we'll continue to watch to see how this progresses. Taking a look here at crude oil. With crude oil, this one has continued to trade around the 59.65 level. That's an FOMC key level from uh, this past March. You can see here it got above it and dropped. Here it got toward 59.5 and dropped. Here yesterday got above it and dropped. Uh, and now it's back above it right now, barely 59.80. It got just above 60 into that LVN right there. The high of the day, 60 on the dot. And so right now, this market is testing a zone here that it hasn't really tested much in a long while not since the big news here this was a huge headline risk event uh, but we're back to 60 now LVN there the last couple times it tried to hold above that zone it was offered back down at least back to 56's uh, 5650 so right now we're, we're still in the zone we may have a little bit more upside we'll see the overall trajectory remains higher uh, but keep an eye on 59.85 that's the previous sessions high right now there was a push above it and a failure and there are lower highs developing at 59.85. So if there's a failure to hold above 59.85 today, then perhaps we could drop right back into the range uh, that has been trading in within the last five days. All right, let's take a look now at gold futures. You'll see here with gold that uh, I've mentioned that this thing is just stuck range bound. Stuck, stuck, stuck. It's not likely going anywhere. But yesterday, it had a very bullish potential breakout day. That's where price was rallying throughout the, the pre-market in the morning. All of this was a big bullish line. That was not there. And price had finally pushed above a prior pivot high for the first time. 1490 got to 91.6. It was above that prior pivot high. Higher lows. It looked like it wanted to perhaps attempt to break through the top of the channel. And then the Trump tweet comes out regarding China trade. And that sent this market dropping. It sent the ES, the NQ, and all the risk on equities up. Uh, and these right here, again, this one was rejected, left behind a big tail. Here's your perfect midpoint retest. So right now, bears are defending 1480s. And uh, overall, we're still stuck in the range. We're still stuck in the range right now. 
Uh, so what could have been a really good breakout day, or at least the beginning of what could have been a breakout day, uh, has now led to a reversal day. And now we have another stronger pivot to watch. So again, 1500, 1495 is going to be the big zone here. At some point down the line, if it can break that, maybe we can break higher. But given this rejection, uh, it looks like we may be headed for another breakdown within the boundaries of this channel. So we could be looking at significant weakness ahead within the boundaries of the channel, likely back toward the 200 day, maybe retesting at 1440, right? So we'll keep an eye on this and see how that plays out. But if this thing starts to break much below 1460 here, that could open up quite a bit of selling pressure ahead, heading into the end of the year for gold. All right, that is it for now. We'll see how this plays out heading into the rest of the session. Again, happy Friday. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you all in the trading room. Take care.